What does it mean? Where were they? Where were they? Yeah. Great. Yeah, where were they when I was deep, deep, deep in the village? The village. But here I am in Kampala. <laughs> <laughs> Have a seat, my brother. Have thank a seat. you. Thank You're you. very welcome to the show. Thank you. Right, Kayaga. Yes. I've watched you, and, and uh, one of the things you always talk about is your height. Was yeah. it a challenge growing up, or it's just. Uh... It was a challenge while growing up, and like I've really faced so many problems with my head, even now, up to now. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, yeah, people invite me for kids' festivals, like, you can imagine, kids. with my age, yeah. As a that's performer why, or as a child? <laughs> as a child. Ah. Yeah. So that's why you intentionally lift the beard to grow? Yeah. Ah. Hey. So uh, what, what is that joke that you, that, you know, applies to your height? The joke that applies to my height, there's so many jokes. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, because I remember one time I was uh, moving from one day yeah, with my crush. Like a crush, someone like I really admire. Yes. I wanted her, I wanted her to be my girlfriend. So we made uh, this this uh, taxi, and there was only one position remaining. Yes. So uh, we stopped the taxi. We we're like, hey, we are going. They go like, we, we stopped the taxi. Then we found out that the conductor told us there there is only one, one seat place. remaining. Yeah, like yeah. But I'm with my what? I'm with my crush. Like no, no. You go. He will. She will lift you. Oh. <laughs> Like, they wanted her to become a babysitter. Yes. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Yeah. You know, short people have suffered, you know. People think that short people, you know, have temper, temper, temper issues. Yeah. You know? But you may think short, that it's, a, it's an advantage to be short. For example, during the weather, rain hits you last. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. And in terms of clothes, when you can't find something in the adult section, you go in the baby section. <laughs> so there are several advantages. You need to look at the brighter side of life. Yeah. Not so? Well, like you tell someone, you know mm. what? I'll be back short. They'll be like, no, you tell us I'll be back as I am because like you're in the You're just as short as you are. <laughs> and during war, all the yeah. movies I've watched, yeah. they always say take cover. <laughs> That's a challenge of told people. Yeah. You're short, you can even walk with the bullets. <laughs> cha, cha, cha. Yeah. And you can even fit in any car. Yeah? That's if true. it's... <laughs> you can't even stand. Yeah? <laughs> so tell me, uh, what really inspired you or motivated you to join comedy? What inspired me, like, uh, I was always, like, uh, students and my family members used to call me funny. Like, yeah. But I didn't feel that in You didn't me. feel funny? Yeah, I didn't feel funny. Yes. Like, up when I was at university uh, in Makere, because I did become and I'm an accountant, by the way. Ah! Yeah. Wow! Yeah. So you have to account for everything you do. <laughs> yeah. So uh, there was prime time in Macquarie University, and they told me uh, they were looking for uh, for new talent, like comedians. I went and tried out, and I was the best performer performer of the night. Wow. Yeah, that's how you started. <laughs> One thing I like about your performances, mm. they're very energetic. Yeah. You know, mm. and uh, it's, it's a unique style. You know, mm. you take command of the of the stage, and you have a, a likable personality. Thank when you. When people see you on stage. Uh, they really embrace you easily. Wow. So, you talked about your crush. Yeah. Did the accident happen? Did you continue or...? No, that was a total turn-off. The relationship ended there? Yeah. So, did you get somebody else or you're still single? I'm single and being searched for. Ah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> That's cool. One thing I like about you on stage is the energy, the drive, the passion. And you, you take command of the audience, you know, you take, you control the stage. And, and you have a likable personality that people easily embrace, yeah? yeah thank you. And yeah, you should just keep that to take you places. So, your name is Bright. Yes. Were you bright in class? I don't know the procedures my parents used to give me that name, but yes. um, later on I found out that I was bright. Hey. Yeah. You in class and in, in, class. Every, in all aspects. In class you were bright? Yes. Hey. But of course there are those... Times eh? when things would fail. Things fall apart. Yeah. Like, you know <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like in mathematics. Did you ever have a nickname in school? Yes. What was the nickname? Pipiro. Pipiro. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Were you a break dancer or what? <laughs> <laughs> no. Mm. Pipiro is some uh, uh, Nigerian movie by those guys, Akian Okwan, one of the hey, characters. Akian of... Popo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we know why. 
I know why. I know why they gave you that name. Yeah. Eh? Aki and Popo. Mm. Ah, those guys are so down to earth. <laughs> <laughs> so, did, you, did they still call you that name, or it's just phased out? It phased out, but my, I have my OBs so, because it wanted to continue to from primary to to secondary. Mm. It it went like fading out. Okay. Yeah. Do your parents approve of you being a stand-up comedian? Yes. Have they been to your shows? No, I've not had that chance because oh. they work from up country and me, uh, like after they, they don't stay around camera because most I, I do my comment from around. Uh, I send my uh, they they send now uh, my village yeah, is deep in the village. I like the gesture. Mm. Oh, there you are. Yeah, that means it must be far. Uh, it's a remote see? place that those eh? people have. It's a, a, a very like remote place that those uh, people have never even seen a remote. You're kidding me. No. It's they receive the Sunday papers <laughs> on Wednesday. Yeah. Hi. They even need network to light a torch. Uh, that that must be tough. Yeah. Do they even know that we have a new president? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <they're gonna> be <laughs> oh Lord. So you you we see you do you you're an accountant, a comedian. When you're not on stage, what do you do? Do you have an accounting firm? Do you work? Yeah, when I'm not, I, I work with Evolution and Survey Farm. Oh. Yes, as an accountant. Uh, then, uh, when I'm not stage, I also do emceeing for events, uh, oh. weddings, You're an MC. parties, yeah. Yeah, I hope you had that in case you have an event. This is the real guy to call. <laughs> yeah, he'll keep the speech short. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> an amazing guy. Mm. So, what message do you have for your fan who's watching this? Uh, my fan, like my fans, wherever you are, everyone watching this, I love you so much. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for being there for me because I, I get gigs and they really pay even more than my professional job wow. from the fans out there. They pay attention. Pay money. Oh, <laughs> yeah. nice. Great. So, going forth, do we see you having children? Do you plan having starting a family? Yeah. Or I want to remain single? Yeah, no. Definitely, when the right time comes, mm. I get someone and have children. So how can we help you with that? <laughs> Everyone watching this, uh, my name is Brad Kayag on Facebook. You can send me that message if you think that I'm the right guy for you. Yes. That's for only ladies. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that. You must be taller like than me. Some guys are looking at you like, oh, he comes spirito, gracias, <laughs> Like, oh, the boy looks so nice. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>